Okay, 2018 Belgium National Championships. So we have a group of about 18 out front at this moment in time, 80 kilometers to go. Got a peloton in the rear, not really like cohesive chase. AG Tuar on the back foot, um, BMC are on the back foot because they only have one guy out there and Quick Step have some real stop solid riders like Gilbert. Um, Van Marcus up there, so you can see BMC are doing some chasing. Somewhere, are sort of like on their own with turns. Then you've got Serge Powers, Cofidis have a couple guys, but in reality, the firepower is all at the front. Quick step are just marking everyone. Um, a lot of Sadal have a lot of riders up there as well. So, yeah, uh, it was pretty obvious at this point um, that the race was going to, it was over basically for the peloton. Uh, it was going to be really hard for them to actually manage to uh, catch up because all the big hitters were at the front and there weren't really enough firepower. So you can see Wanty now on the front. They were the main team that missed out, really. I don't think they had a single guy in the front. Um, Top Sport Vandra did very well. They had a couple guys up there. Um, they looked like they were racing well as a team together. Covid is, you know, but like AG2R as well. I believe only Nason managed to miss the break, which was pretty bad for him. You can see him just on the right-hand side of the screen now with his nice Belgium National Championships bike, which uh, will he be using after this race? Spoiler alert, he will not be using it after this race. Uh, poor bloke. But anyway, he had a nice year on it, and he's uh, definitely was deserving of winning it. So anyway, you can see here we now have Victor Campenertz on the Rue de Pepinier, which is uh, a similar similar route to Binge Shimmy Binch, if you've ever seen that. It's a late-season race in the Napoleon Cup games. Anyway, he goes um, and shreds this break down a lot. Um, Gilbert managed to get on his wheel, um, and basically, so does... Sorry, Lampert's managed to get on the wheel. Gilbert does not... Uh, Amy de Ghent, I believe, um, for top spot. Vandra managed to get on the wheel, um, and Campanertz is there. This is the chase group now, so you can see there's some strong work uh, d being done by my old favourite, Ollie Nason, uh, because he really needs to get to that front group. But a lot of Sadal have a lot of riders. You can see, again, uh, Siebel Sabon, who are a continental team, are trying to get this going. Same with Randall Willems Classics, but let's be honest... It's just not really going to happen. Uh, there's 21 seconds now, so it looks like it's coming back. But when the big when the big boys start going, it's just it's really hard. But anyway, it still looked like at this point maybe teams might be able to get across, like fire a couple riders across. But uh, it was always going to be hard, um, just because the front group wasn't. I mean, it's just like one of those races where it's there's no real teammates anymore. It's just everyone for themselves. Uh, and the front, the front group generally has the strongest riders, um, so that's why it's really hard for them to pull it back. So you can see now um, that Serge Powers and Edward Turns decided to go on the attack. Serge Powers went up uh, a little short climb and Edward Turns followed afterwards. Um, I thought they might have a chance, but it was just, again, too strong. So you can see now Philippe Gilbert attacks from the uh, second group up the road, so the, the main group of 18. He then attacks from that, um, and he decides that uh, it's time to go. So I believe that... The main group of the uh, 18 before, so the 12 riders who didn't make the front split, have now been caught. And Gilbert is now attacking across this gap. And you can see Serge Powers is again trying to get across, but he wasted a lot of energy before. I guess now, well, he didn't know at the time, but he has now wasted a lot of energy. It's going to be hard for him to follow an on-form Gilbert, who's absolutely powering away um, and looking really solid. So Gilbert's bringing down this gap pretty quickly and uh, managed to get across very, very easily, it seemed. I mean, obviously, it's not easy doing it, but it seemed like it wasn't too much of a, a struggle for him. He's not even <laughs> looking that error. Look, I mean, everyone else is playing around at the fr in the front, but even so, Gilbert had a real strong go. Anyway, Campanets knows Gilbert's coming, so Campanets decides to now attack um, and try and get solo. Uh, somehow, Campanets managed to actually get caught. It looked very odd, but it seemed just like there was sort of a half concerted chase from a couple guys, and Campanets wasn't really like. Seemed like he was going for a gasp. But anyway, Gilbert is now across, as you can see. So he gets two quick steps. There's Yves Lampert and Gilbert there with Nathan Hoydonk. Uh, and Gilbert is trying to go across now. And we've got two Lodo Sudal riders there as well, who I believe is Campanets and Thomas de Ghent. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on Thomas de Ghent. There are no start list numbers, so it's very hard to figure out. But anyway, you can see here, we have Tish Benut and Seth Van Marker who are now going for it. So... Set Van Marker seen that Gilbert's up the road. He didn't follow him initially. Maybe he had bad position or something. But you can see now Set Van Marker and Tish Benu are going all in. Jasper Stoyven then also recognizes this is a good move to hop onto him and be able to get to the front group. So Stoyven hops on in a little bit. And the same with Petter Seri. So now Quick Step in a real good position because Seri's managed to get on the back of those guys. As you can see now, Seri's the Quick Step rider in the very back. Stoyven's just done his turn. Tish Benu and Set Van Marker. That's a real, real solid uh, move. So they basically hop across this gap again. Doesn't take them very long. Um, and now Quickstep have three guys in the front. 
Lotto Sadal have two guys in the front, three guys, sorry, in the front, um, and Seth Van Mark is pretty much on his own, but he's a real solid rider and he's used to being on his own because he never really has that much support in the classics. So it's not too much of a worry for him. But these guys, yeah, close the gap pretty quickly. Uh, Seri's obviously not going to help at all. He just hops on the back because he's got teammates up the road. Um, and the same with a lot of Sadal rider, I guess, Tish Manute. He doesn't really need to help um, because he does have teammates up the road, but it's always it's always good, I guess, when Sepp Van Mark was there, like you'd want to bridge up because then you're gonna have numerical advantage over quick step. But now there's a quick step rider there, that numerical advantage sort of goes. Anyway, as you can see, everyone's made it up to the front. Uh, we've got three quick step, two, three lot of Zidal now. Um, so it's looking like a real solid solid uh, breakaway. I mean, it's not gonna it's basically this is it. Like no one's gonna um, get onto this group really or no, the group's not really going to get brought back unless they really mess around because there's such a big incentive for Quickstep and Lotus Sudal to drive this. I mean, Gilbert's on the front looking around trying to figure out what's going on. Amy De Gent had a real good ride for Top Sport Varner and he was a uh, very, very uh, solid uh, for a continental, for a pro-continental rider. I was pretty impressed by him. Uh, you can see Pedicere there. Um, and anyway, Gilbert on the cobbles decides that it's time to go. He's like, right boys, we're going. Set by Mark, you can see looks really strong. Yves Lampert is following on his wheel, um, and Gilbert really had a, a lot of attacking. Around this corner, you can see those guys have put a big gap, and Amy de Gent managed to close it. Everyone else is looking a little bit bad. Nathan Hoydunk for BMC, it's just, BMC got mugged off, because they, if Gilbert, if um, Greg Van Avermaet was in that move, it would have been a lot better for them, and instead of having Nathan Hoydunk, they really need to chase it down, but they just couldn't, because they just didn't have the firepower. Um, and anyway, you can see there's a bit of a gap here, a break going here. Gilbert then goes again, set down marker, managed to follow. Amy de Gent again is cruising across this gap. Is he related to Thomas again? I'm not 100% sure. I guess they might be brothers or something. It's probably, probably relatively like that they are. Um, but anyway, it's looking like a good move so far. Two quick steps. You feel like set down marker shouldn't pull a turn at this moment because there are two quick steps in this. Um, but everyone else behind, Lotus Sudal have a couple guys to chase this back. So uh, in reality, it was always going to be hard for this, this move to stick. Um, at this moment in time, just because Lotus Sudal still have riders there. Uh, Jasper Stoyven also is also very keen. And this is the thing that's different um, in national championship races, is people don't mind absolutely killing themselves for the win, because no one cares about if you come second in the national champs, they just want the jersey. It's quite different to world tour racing, because you might think that's the same in world tour racing, but people still need top 10s and stuff, so they're not going to kill themselves so they know they can get a top 10 and maybe not get the top 10 at all. While in this, it's like everyone just wants... Um, the national champ so you see it's a lot more aggressive racing uh, more often and also generally the teams aren't as dominant in Belgium maybe it's not as good because there are some real solid teams but in other races depth in other countries for sure it's not as much so you can see here we've got have the main protagonists of this breakaway uh, Peter Seri and you now got what four quick steps no three quick steps in a group of six so you're like oh steppers <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anyway, Gilbert decides that, you know what, boys, it's time to go again. So Gilbert has attacked, like, over four times now, um, and is still <laughs> feeling very strong. Uh, and around this corner, you can see Seth Van Mark is really struggling to get on that wheel. He's just about managed to get on it now, but you can imagine how fucking painful that would be, just trying to get on Gilbert's wheel as he's absolutely launching it. Um, and Amy de Gent again managed to bridge that gap. I was, I was so surprised when I saw this man up there. I was like, how are you doing this? Um, he's had a real solid ride. Maybe if he continues this form into the late season classics, he might be able to pick up um, a spot in someone whose classic squad isn't great um, because he's definitely showing some real good classics um, promise at this moment in time. Anyway, Lotto Sudal chased this back again. Uh, I believe it was Victor Campenarts who decided that you know, he had to bring this back because he has his teammate here, who I believe is Thomas de Gent. Um, the numbers are really hard because they don't have the numbers. The, the commentary is only in Belgium and there's no race report. So I'm just, a lot of this I do know like 100% because you can just sort of tell by the style of the riders, um, but otherwise it's hard. Anyway, as soon as this gets brought back, you can see Yves Lampertz has a go and then sort of he bridges off here. He's like, oh, anyone want to go? And then Jasper Stoyven is really alert to this because I guess he knows there's going to be one more quick step attack. And if he can follow that, then he's guaranteed to get a top three. Anyway, you can see here Gilbert attacks again. So we now have a group of Gilbert, Lampertz, and Stuyven on the front. Everyone else behind, I don't know what they were doing. Just follow the quick step poke as soon as he went. I don't know if everyone was asleep, everyone wanted other people to close gaps. Um, but now you've got two quick step guys and Jasper Stuyven. And with eight kilometers to go, they had a good gap, maybe 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. And there was going to be no messing around by the quick step boys because they know that they've got the massive advantage. They've got numbers two to one. Anyway, 3.6 kilometers to go. Yves Lampertz says cheerio to Stuyven, and that was pretty much it.
Um, Stoyven just didn't really have the legs. Yves Lampertz was obviously probably sitting on a little bit more than Gilbert. Gilbert was driving it a bit more, and Yves Lampertz gets it. Um, I don't. He hasn't been the national champion before on the road. He has been on the time trial, so he must be pretty happy. Gilbert was probably like, I've been national champ before. You can have it, old boy. And uh, Yves Lampertz gets it. Absolute great team tactics by Quick Step, just dominating all day, always making sure they had so many guys in the front. They had at least one guy in the front group every single time, and most of the time they had at least two, um, and that just helps you so much. Anyway, Gilbert managed to get away from Stoyven in the end uh, to get second. Stoyven managed to get third, and I believe Pedicari got fourth. So Quick Step had three guys um, in the top four, which is pretty incredible. But anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.